When I started out as a freelance illustrator, my primary way of marketing was actually business cards, posters and flyers like this to attract new clients, to keep them loyal and finally to make a living with art. So if you want to get more eyes to your drawings after media and press coverage from last week, here's another more old school but still valid method to get known as an artist. Use number one, attracting new clients. You want to be known, you have your artwork, your projects, but you don't have an audience yet and you don't know where to look for potential clients. The solution is simple. Take your posters, flyers or business cards and ask public places that already have a clientele to distribute them. For example, you've just published a manga Ask bookstores if they'd be willing to hang your poster in their window to advertise it. And if you're self-publishing, offer them a sales deposit as well. To maximize your chances of attracting potential new fans, I suggest you target public places in your theme, such as bookshops if you create manga, for instance. The advantage is that you make yourself visible to a much wider network than your own, and there may be indeed sales or new fans coming in. On the other hand, the disadvantage is that it's still called canvassing. You don't control who will actually be interested and out of, let's say, 100 visit cards, maybe only one will get you a result. In my own experience and analyzing what my professional clients who take over communication usually do, marketing was always done in this way. Posters to announce events such as exhibitions, manga classes, or for physical products such as books. Flyers to announce events, Kickstarter or Ulul campaign launches, presentation of my services as an illustrator, etc. Unlike posters, people take the flyers home and can read them at ease. So you can really present your projects to encourage people to visit your exhibition, uh, order your products, or book a course. Business cards to make people want to know more. Especially in illustration, put a really striking visual that represents your whole world to make people want to know more about you, to visit your website, to discover your work on social media. Using these three formats in the right place can really help you find new customers, even if the results are unpredictable. Because, yeah, as I said, you never know where they will actually go. Now, where flowers and business cards results can be maximized, however, is when you come into direct contact with your prospects. Use number two, building customer loyalty. The big advantage of real life over social media is that you can build relationships much faster. You are a real person, people hear your voice, they see your expressions. Currently, 80% of my entire customer base has spoken to me at least once in real life before buying online or taking my courses or ordering a commission. Whether it's at exhibitions, networking events or conventions, actually getting your flyer or card out to someone who has already spoken to you or who has shown some signs of interest in your work by coming to your booth, for instance, is much more powerful to stay in their mind. I'll be using the example of manga and anime conventions using flyers, as this has and will always remain my favorite marketing strategy. So if we analyze the behavior of a classic convention visitor, then we often come across one of these cases. One, the visitor who canvasses Artist Alley while collecting cards without necessarily buying. For instance, because they have a limited budget, or they lack time, or there are too many people. A flyer to read quietly at home, with beautiful artwork representing your artist's universe, can encourage them to at least follow you on Instagram. And over time, if you do your job well to build relationships online, then they will most probably buy from your online shop or become a fan who likes, comments and shares, which is positive for development on social media. Another alternative, there are the shy visitors who don't dare to talk to you and they just take your flyer and they leave without saying a word and then they discover your artwork once they get home. And then same development and as in the previous case. Yet another case that happens to me quite often, some visitors will read your flyer first before talking to you. And this opens up conversations like, 
Oh, you come from Luxembourg. Well, my grandfather lives there. Or it can be, I see you offer manga workshops. Oh wow, my daughter loves drawing and she wants to improve her skills. These little conversations create bonds, make you look like a nice person and are a great help to easily close sales on the spot, get followers with sales in your online shop later on, or even sign paid commissions. I also systematically put a flyer in every single package that people buy at conventions to make sure they remember me when they unpack all their purchases at home. It makes them discover my world even more if they didn't read the flyer at my booth. And it's also to redirect them towards my ideal goal, which is one, subscribe on Instagram, two, regularly discover my new products, and free buy new products online or at the next conventions or even join Patreon. Really remember, a customer who has bought once will be much more likely to repurchase later because they already know and like you. And especially at conventions, it's really important to make an impression and to be different from the other exhibitors. And really a simple piece of paper can help you be more memorable and interesting as an artist. You can of course develop your communication with the methods of the first part, like canvassing shops, putting up your posters, or try new ones that would suit you better. And speaking of this, subscribe for the next video where I take you back into real freelance artist life with the worst marketing strategy of my manga crowdfunding campaign, which left me totally covered in shame with over 2000 flyers. I really hope this excursion into prospecting gives you ideas for getting out there and letting people know about your artwork. As always, share your own experiences in the comments below so that we can all get inspired and move forward together. Thank you so much for being here and see you soon!